how better the program learning uh, process is. So, uh, you know, in today's time, what is happening is that uh, a lot of uh, people are there in corporates and they want to pursue. Hello everyone, today uh, we'll be discussing uh, pre previous year questions of uh, psychology option in UPSC, the chapter is learning and in uh, previous uh, videos I have discussed uh, you know questions in different different years, this time I'm going to discuss about the questions that are coming in 2015. So let's begin. The first question that came in 2015 was that evaluate the notion of programmed learning. Okay, so they are talking about programmed learning. Then they say that describe its relevance for modern day education with suitable examples. Now what you can uh, do over here is that first you need to know what is program learning. Now you can say that uh, ma'am in the questions or in the books, uh, you know, we have never found this uh, program learning. We have rather talked about classical conditioning, observational learning. We have talked about operant conditioning, but what about uh, this? So here they are saying that evaluate the notion of program learning. So first, um, you know, you need to uh, focus on uh, how program learning is there, what is program learning and all. So program learning basically talks about step by step learning. And when there is step by step learning, there are constant, if not constant, then uh, what is that? Uh, what is present is uh, feedbacks. So you have instant feedbacks. Then uh, you can have what procedures, procedures um, evaluation. Then it's not a very uh, cumbersome or burdensome process, uh, you know, process of learning. Why? Because uh, they have actually, uh, you know, put it into parts. So one part done, then they are moving to the second part, then they are moving to the third part. So mostly they are focusing on what adaptive. Now they say that evaluate the notion of program learning and describe it uh, relevance for modern day education. So evaluate that means you have to uh, you know find out how effective is program the learning. So what you can do over here is first you can explain what is program learning. Then you can uh, talk about uh, you know uh, how better the program learning uh, process is. So uh, you know in today's time what is happening is that. Uh, a lot of uh, people are there in corporates and they want to pursue for various courses and um, you know training and educational aspect then there are people who are uh, you know, physically handicapped and they are uh, also uh, you know willing to learn so they, these people should not be devoid of learning that way so in program learning what we can uh, go for is that uh, first thing if i evaluate program learning so what is happening is that it can provide user friendly environment. Why user friendly environment? Because user friendly environment will focus on user friendly environment will focus on what um, depending upon who the person is like uh, for example, uh, for example, it could be uh, very good for uh, physically handicapped people. then it could be uh, very effective for people who are in corporates fine then at the same time it could be very effective for uh, people who are wanting distance learning education and with uh, internet connectivity we have educational e-learning platforms so this you can explain now they said uh, relevance uh, for modern day education with suitable examples so definitely what you can uh, focus over here is 
modern day education uh, platform are what so first e portals right second uh, you can uh, talk about uh, for example uh, you know uh, training courses and training courses could be with respect to ai robots right um, it could be with respect to machine learning right uh, e portals are there training courses are there other than that uh, what else um, for example uh, you know uh, language language training programs are there so language learning platforms if i go with e portal so plutus is is also one of those right other than that uh, what else you can write about is corporate trainees here uh, you can mention about uh, linkedin programs educational programs fine so uh, they asked this question um, now when they asked this question it was uh, you know very different with uh, respect to the static portion but uh, yes uh, they required and you know they wanted to test uh, you know how is your uh, intellect so whether you are able to understand what is program learning or not um, how do you interpret this uh, program learning whether you know about these things or not um, for example you know there are kids um, if you want those kids to learn language what is going to happen is that again there are program learning for you know if you constantly play those sounds and you know systems in front of the child what is going to happen is that the child through uh, listening through observation the child will learn it so that is again programmed learning fine so this is something which i have uh, just discussed in brief now you can explain this uh, effectively and write a you know good answer for it and since it was a 10 mark question so uh, this much will be decent enough to attempt this question now coming to the next question the next question says review bandura's uh, social learning theory evaluate its impact on understanding aggression as a result of media generated influences now uh, the question is very beautiful why because they have covered three aspects over here they have said that review bandura's social learning theory so first you need to explain what is social learning theory you need to talk about uh, bandura's experiment and uh, needless to say you must be knowing about the bobo doll experiment right so all psychology student uh, i don't think so i need to tell them but you must be knowing about it bobo doll experiment now they say evaluate its impact on understanding aggression now its impact so you need to uh, you know focus on that uh, how good is this uh, bandura social learning theory to understand the impact of uh, aggression to you know impact on understanding aggression as a result of media generated influence that means now what you have to focus on is how media is playing this big role in um, you know social learning theory concept now since uh, psychology is a very uh, wide field so um, you know i will not focus on only on communal violence and um, you know uh, all kind of uh, issues with respect to caste and religion etc because uh, in the you know uh, world arena we have uh, racism issue also so firstly you need to know about media now media you can focus on uh, like what are uh, the various uh, ways in which uh, you know media is uh, influencing it so first uh, in, you know it triggering the aggression so first is uh, televisions radios right second is social media platforms right uh, third thing what you can uh, talk about over here is uh, 
uh, what else are uh, you know in media present for example i have told you about uh, these three things then you have uh, real world real world for example uh, you know all those uh, videos photos circulating or you can also write about gaming platforms for example you have pubg pubg yeah right so what you can do over here is you need to first uh, understand the impact on uh, you know aggression so what is the impact on uh, aggression you will uh, you know talk about the impact first is the child is observing once the once the child is observing what is happening is the next thing the child is learning once the child is going to learn it the child is uh, going to you know behave in the similar manner and you can also write about vicarious conditioning fine so all this is about the behavior this is about the conditioning so you know constant influence of uh, media constant uh, watching of uh, you know certain aggressive content in um, your mobile phones for that matter or uh, for that matter um, you know your uh, social media handles etc what is going to happen is that is eventually going to change your behavior also you, you'll never know that how aggressive you have became because once you're going to explain the bobo doll experiment um, that is very much evident and clear that you have understood that uh, what kind of uh, you know impact uh, the media is going to have on the behavior of the children or people and how this is going to lead to aggression fine right? now uh, let's move on to the next question okay so these were the two questions that were there in uh, 2015 so next time uh, we'll come with uh, questions in 2014 thank you so much Thank you.